much everyone here is either a professional or is going to be a professional uh, diver and this is our duty to take care of our environment so it's a real pleasure uh, to be involved in this as well. We find the nets on our dives and um, so various guides will be out on dives or it could be myself or anyone of the staff team. This net that we found, so we found it like during I was diving with my guests. This net is actually an illegal net. Why is it here in the first place? Well, uh, Sabah Park had their work cut out to police this entire area. It's very difficult for them. They have limited resource. Um, and the fishermen, well, they're going to try and net around the reef because around the reef is more productive for fish. Got a lot more fish life. The net smothers the reef, um, thus uh, the reef can't breathe. Um, and obviously the coral is going to die as a result. And you've got like bad weather conditions, like big surge, net's going to move, also the coral is going to break. As it's designed to catch fish, does exactly that pretty much forever more. And then you've got like a sitting up net, so more fish going to get trapped. As they catch fish, the fish perish in the net and uh, other creatures such as crustaceans, shark and other fish come and feed on their carcasses or their bodies. Um, and then uh, they get caught as well. So it's an endless cycle of uh, death and destruction, quite frankly. I also like to share the education. I like people to see the problem. I like our local team to experience what is real, what's going on down there. Um, whether it be the boat captains or our local uh, instructors or dive masters um, or our international interns, you know, coming in. That's what people want to learn here when they're here. They want to learn the whole uh, aspect of diving, and this is a big part of that. Conservation is massive in the place. so. By involving as many people as possible, I believe we can spread the message as much as possible. Me personally, I found two mantis shrimps, very aggressive, all right? Loads and loads of crabs, a few cat sharks, all right? And a few dead rabbit fish, Moorish idols, so uh, probably some live ones. I did release a mantis shrimp and a crab. On a personal level, I can uh, say that that's a big passion of mine, and it's the biggest problem in the park, I see. So by actively removing nets over a duration of time, um, yeah, we're doing a lot of good things. Feels really, really good. Feels like you're kind of like a superhero, yeah. Feels like you're saving the world, you know, like getting that net out of the reef that think, makes you think about, oh, you did a really good deed today. Yeah, not only yourself, but definitely with the whole team, I bet they feel the same way as well.